So I've wanted to make a moccasin or stockasin for a while now. And the time for arts and crafts just doesn't come up all that often. As you can see, I'm pretty busy with these guys. So what I've done is I've taken some surplus boots that I bought a while ago. I've had them probably five plus years. Put a lot of miles on them. There's a lot more life left in them, but I have another pair that's newer. And for nature observation, a la Tom Brown, something without a heel is best and something a lot more flexible, which is why I wanted to make a moccasin or a stockasin. And I still will, still make some mucklucks and moccasins for myself, but for something quick and easy, which is all too often what I rely upon for my ideas. I just cut the sole off of one to see what it would be like. There you can see the soles removed. And here's the bottom. So it's left with a very thin rubber sole. And there's no heel. I tried this one on already. Works very well. I probably just won't tie it up to have a more flexible ankle so that it isn't rigid because that's something else that a person looks for in footwear when stalking or tracking or observing animals. So now I'm going to take the sole off of this one too. And then I think that I'll have a pretty decent pair of stockasins after that. So it could be a goofy idea, but I paid 30 bucks for these boots, had them for five years. What do I have to lose? So I've got both soles off now, and what I think I'm going to do is take it to the sander to knock off the square edges all the way around. Something else I might have to do is, let's see if I can find, there's some thread there. That looks like a place where water can get in, so might have to do something about that. I don't know yet. Only testing will bear it out. taking my time and not removing too much if I can help it because this kind of scenario here is what I don't want. I actually exposed a little too much thread there for my liking. So hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. But I'll just take my time, do the rest, and I don't think I need to show you the rest of that. I think that's basically, you get the idea of what I'm up to there. But I will show you when I'm done both of them, what they look like. Well, here's the finished product. There's absolutely no way that they're going to feel as much in contact with the earth as moccasins will because how could a rubber sole translate as much information to my foot as something like rawhide or crepe rubber? However, compared to the boots that they were before, it's going to be 100% better. No heels so that I can do things like coyote walk, fox walk without having the city shuffle go on and pound my heels into the into the earth and this will allow me to practice my stalking skills better so yeah I think this is a, a decent idea I think this just might work there we go that's what they look like there I rounded off all the edges I might clean it up a bit more later but I don't even know if it matters and again a little bit of grip here will not not an issue with that at all. I don't mind that being left on. So there we go. I'm pretty excited to give these a try.